What's going on, everybody? What's up? Episode 57. I'm not messing up again. I messed up last week. (laughs) That shit ain't going to happen again. Um, We are, what are we like? 10 days? 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. Ten days uh, to uh, to the draft, and um, excited. This will be my my first time ever at the uh, at the NFL draft. Mine too. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. And I um, I've never been. I, I mean, I just don't. I don't know what to expect, and I think that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you, I'm going to, everybody that's watching. Thank you so much for joining. Obviously true blue pork rind, uh, Philly sports guys on a special assignment. Um, when I say special assignment, he's at a game. I mean, if you haven't figured out that code <laughs> word yet, I mean, yeah. come on. Um, I gotta, I, and I'm, I'm probably going to mention this again in my, uh, on my show tomorrow, uh, Make account sneaky, but um, I got a text message today that if if it was anybody else, it would it would bring you down. Um, as a diehard Giants fan, it would it would make you um, upset. It would um, it'll bum you out, right? Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go ahead and read the text message real quick. Uh, for those that are listening, here we go. Um, do, 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 do. Of course, I'm not going to say who sent me the text message. Of course, I'm not going to say that. All right. Or, or who responded to what? Uh, cause it's, it's, um, I'm saving that for bl- uh, blackmail material. Later. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so I got an email. Uh, oh, I got an email and text message. But anyway, unfortunately, we are unable to provide inner circle passes. We received a limit number of those passes. And our allotment has already been exhausted. So that means out of the four of us. Nope, three. (laughs) I'm not I'm not included in that. Shut up, True Blue. (laughs) Shut up. Out of the three of us, um I will I I won't I won't be in the inner circle. The great thing. But hold on, I don't, and I don't mean to cut you off. When I read that email, I think this challenge accepted. <laughs> so, but I, I would I would lie to you. I'd be lying to you guys if I did not if I did not say to you I wasn't gonna go. I I was like, you know what? That's fine. That's cool. I could save the money. I could, you know, whatever. Wife, uh, cause she got the same email I did, and I sent her a text. She um, she replied back. I'm gonna call you. Uh, don't go anywhere. So when Mama Boss says don't go anywhere, I don't go anywhere. Anyway, long story short, um, I uh, she called me, and I said, "Did you get the email?" She she said, "Yes, I did." I said, uh, and then before I could say anything else, she said, shut up. We're going. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think the best thing is you, you, you're, you're going to have family there. So you're going to, you're going to enjoy the uh, NFL experience. It, it, it's, it's pretty fun over there hanging out with everybody and going through the whole process of the games, the involvement, seeing all the teams, the helmets that they have. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's a great experience. That's why they call it the NFL experience. Uh, True Blue Family Shmammy. I want to be in the inner circle. No, <laughs> okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Um, 
<clears throat> you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not there yet. Okay. I I'm not there yet. So um I, you know, I don't take no for an answer. Wait, I do take no for an answer, but at the same time, I don't take no for an Well, you know, we'll see. Like I said, challenge accepted. So um a lot I, of, go ahead. No, I was gonna say there's just a lot of lot of news now, ten days out. I mean, the draft is getting hot, hot, hot. Teams are visiting, players are flying around. Yep. New York Giants are even being talked about with the fifth and seventh picks. Yeah, it, and it's it's gonna be interesting what, what direction we're gonna I still think I still think we'll go on Lyman. Yeah, I, I saw, don't I, I saw don't, today. I, I saw today you guys were getting offensive line with five and then um sauce with seven, the cornerback. Yeah, I that's that's kind of what, what they're looking at right now. I hope not. I really like sauce. Well, <laughs> I, you know, I'm with you, but I, I, I we need an edge rusher. And I, I don't understand. I mean, maybe they think the dude from Oregon is not going to drop all the way until seven. But if he's sitting at seven, we got to make a move on him. Um, you know, that, that, that dude from Oregon, yeah, that player from Oregon. I can't. I can't uh, say he, he might be dropping to, to Detroit <clears throat> number two. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I've been saying too. What you're saying, Hutchinson's going number one, and then he's going number two. Yep, that's what I've been saying. I don't think Hutchinson's going number one. You don't think so? Who, who thinks no. going number one? Who you no. think's going to go one? I think the kid out of Alabama to protect uh, uh, offensive lineman. Oh, yeah. Neil? You think Neil's going number one? Yep. Eh. Yeah, he's too good. Of I mean, the kid is just a beast. As an offensive lineman, and you got to protect your value at your QB position for the Jaguars. You don't invest yeah. in something like that and then just say, "Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll throw you to the wolves." <laughs> I understand defense wins you games, but you got to protect that kid and keep him upright. He was scrambling last year for his life. So now, again, I'm going to throw this out there. Um, do you believe there's going to be a running back selected in the first round? Because I know we said two. No, I, I said the over under was two, and nobody I, took the over. I think I, I took the under. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody took the over. I don't see. I don't see the running back class that strong this year. Then again, I don't even see the QB class that strong this year. But there might no, be. It's, it's it's definitely not. But from what I've been seeing or hearing is there could be you know three or three quarterbacks in the first round. Yeah, three Possibly to five. Four. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. When you when you say you don't see the the quarterback class being strong, um, what do you mean? Because I mean, people are talking about Willis. They're talking about Pickett, uh, really Rowell uh, for what NC. I mean, yeah, uh, you can you can. I mean, yeah, they can talk about them, but they're seeing all the guys who who are the scouts. The scouts are the ones you know basically saying it's not that strong of a class due to the you know the schools that they played for the teams that they play for the stats that they have i'm not saying that they're not good enough i'm just saying that they're not as strong as as previous classes right. now don't get me wrong jared goff you know he went number one not that strong carson went went number two not that strong even then i right. called it back then well, you know they'll, they'll he's, gonna, he's gonna rebound this year he's gonna rebound this year <laughs> so we got uh, – so Diego was saying here that uh, three co three quarterbacks will go in the first round. Yeah, I could see that. I yeah, could see that yeah. too. And then, of course, we have um, – yep. uh, NY Giant News. What's up, Gabe? Hope all is well. He said that uh, Willis and Pickett um, are the best. Uh, the rest are mysterious. And then you have um, shots fire. <laughs> Diego said, not so fast. Um, you got uh, well, he's saying uh, Willis, Pickett, and and Ryder. Ryder's from uh Cincy, right? Yeah, yeah, no, okay, okay, yeah. See, um, Pickett, Pickett got himself into a pickle during the combine from what all the scouts were talking about because the kid showed up with the approach of I'm gonna put a glove on his throwing hand after the hand measurement. So, you know, that's when the scouts started paying attention. Why is this kid putting on a glove? And then the measurements came out to the hand and then said he's not going to be that well in the cold weather. It, you know, 
the throwing glove, yeah, you saw Eli or Peyton Manning with it. You saw Kurt Warner with it. But those guys had banged up hands. Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater hands. as well. I mean, he had yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. But, Teddy two gloves. Yeah, but you got, you, you know, a kid coming in like this, putting on a glove, already throwing the ball around. It says a little bit more. Is the ball slightly larger? What's going on? What's I don't hands? know. His hand is smaller. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I, um, I, it's going to be interesting uh, for me about uh, what direction the Giants are going to go. I really, I'm starting to hope that uh, Shane would make a move on that seventh pick and maybe either drop us back uh, and pick up some picks for either future drafts or uh, whatnot. I mean, obviously, whatever the best option available, I hope he chooses. But um, I would love to see some some equity uh, for, for next year. Um, I, I believe, I mean, Gettleman kind of had us in a, in a bad place. Uh, however, we're in a, a great situation because of, uh, of Gettleman, uh, how he drafted so you're willing to trade down one of your spots, huh? Um, it depends. I mean, I mean, what if Carolina, you know, picks the guy we want, which it's not going to happen. It's going to be a quarterback for Carolina. Yeah. But, um, you know, what if there's uh, – we believe our guy that we want will fall to, say, you know, late 20s or, or, or in the teens somewhere. Just get out of the, the top 10 because that is a money pick. Yeah, it is. Uh, hold on a sec. I just saw this. Gabe says uh, hot take right now is that the Giants will draft Howell in the second round. Huh. I, you know what? I, that's a. I mean, that that's that is. A, I wouldn't say that's a hot take. That's a possibility. Um, but I don't think he would. He would see the field. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I don't think you'll. I mean, because you you got you got Tyrod back there. Yeah, it, Jones right. is not. You know, performing. Um, I, you know, I, I really, I really like Tyrod. So, yeah. um, and I think you need that person behind your back, like a Tyrod, because if Jones ain't effective, yeah. he could easily see the field, and he can easily be the starter oh, well, for the rest okay. of the year. Absolutely. So, um, and, well, and I don't want to talk, of course, I mean, of course, I'm going to talk about the Giants all the time, but I got to ask you guys this question and, and help me understand. And I didn't, I didn't think it was this way that if the Giants don't pick up that fifth year option, they can't re sign them, or can they give them, or can they sign that fifth year after, after the season's over? I'm mm. oh, sorry. No, I don't. I, yeah, you you got to have it tended before the before the season before starts. Before the season, right? Because so, that, then then that's not but, fair to Daniel Jones, right? But they what? can resign. They can resign him after the season. Yeah, after the season, he'll just enter as a free agent. But he can they he can still be resigned. Yeah, but what I'm saying is so. It but his rookie be. deal will be gone. His Correct. rookie if they don't sign gone. him, if they don't resign him to his uh, his fifth year option. Then, then his rookie deal is gone. His rookie deal is gone, and then they have to extend him. Right, it's a whole new contract. Yep. Because what what you're doing there, if if you don't re-sign him when it's due, and then he plays a hell of a season, yeah. you're not giving the opportunity to him. So it, it's you know kind of a catch twenty two. But if 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 I were the Giants, I wouldn't re-sign him. I'm just letting you know that <laughs> straight up. There ain't no way I'd let him sign that fifth year. I wouldn't even offer that fifth year tender. I mean, I I would. I this would take the deal. Fourth year, right? Yeah, this is fourth year. I mean, okay. if I was the GM, and if, um, of course, I'd have a conversation with um, with Mara, and I would sit down and say, "Hey, he's you know, and and." He's getting healthy. He's ready to play next year. He's hitting all the marks that uh, you know Debo wants him to hit. I think it would be a good idea. To, I don't. I don't. I. I would honestly. Ah, dang. Hold on. I mean, that's something I got to think about myself. 
<laughs> because no, I mean seriously, because yeah. to be fair, as a fan, he yeah. hasn't he okay he hasn't performed to he, the best of his ability that I know he can't perform to. But that's not entirely his fault, though. No, it's not. <laughs> so it's it's, it's kind of like you know, and from what the owner said about you know about Jones, we messed up this kid's career as best as we could. So do we owe it to him? Does the does the ownership no, owe it no, to Jones? No. To to give him that. I mean, how can you say that? I mean, you guys gave Dak uh, that. Um, what do you call it? Um, what do you whether the tag and then you sign them to a freaking uh, a bajillion dollar Forrest Gump deal that only lasts <laughs> yeah, you <two> know. days, <laughs> and then of course most of it is guaranteed. Um, you know, uh, yeah, but the restructure, but but you got to remember this cutthroat league that the NFL owners never owe anything to anybody in their mindset. So do they owe Daniel Jones anything from their point of view? No. Well, I'm only saying that because of what. Mara said, "Yeah, I mean, right. don't get me wrong. They can have empathy and sympathy, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna just say flat out, nah, we owe it to this kid.' What, what do you think, Pork Ryan? I mean, you guys had how many quarterbacks <laughs> Too since? Many, man. Wait, so yeah. wait, was Rippin was Mark Rippin the last stable quarterback? I mean, because even RJ three didn't even last that long. No, who, I mean, who, who, who was the? Rip, I mean, guts for art." Good Lord, yeah. yeah Let's for right. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. God, man. Brunel, I, I maybe? Think, I think it was Rippin. No, uh, Rippin, Rippin was, that was early, early. That was early, early yeah. 90s. Yeah, that was early yeah. 90s. Yeah, that was the last Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I mean, Brad Johnson was only there a year. Mark Brunel, maybe. I think he was there two years, three years, maybe. I mean – and, and and what's strange is I thought I thought North Turner would really turn that O line around and and get them going, you know. When he left the Cowboys and went straight to Washington, I was like, oh man. Yeah, but you know goes. what though, that, and but that never that never came through. Ah, because Dan Snyder. It was all because of Dan Snyder. North Turner would have turned that team around if it would have been you know North if uh, Dan Snyder would have stayed out of the way. But and, he was he was bringing in all the guys that you know were pretty much past their prime. You got Jeff George coming in, Deion Sanders, Bruce Smith. I mean, the list could go on and on and on. Um, yeah, I just I, I don't think North Turner got a fair shake. But did was, North Turner and Schneider get along? I mean, I think they got along until you know towards the end because he wasn't you know. Being patient and and building, he wasn't building the team the right way. He was trying to buy a championship. And you yeah, can't, he, was, the, he was trying to do what the Rams are doing now. Yeah, you can't Rams buy a championship, but you're gonna suffer in the in the. Yeah. Uh, so okay, I, and this is gonna sound really silly of me saying this, but I honestly thought, I thought Spurrier was gonna turn. Uh, oh, the no, Redskins, uh, the commander. <laughs> well, I'll say Washington. I can't keep yeah. up with the names y'all have. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I, know. I no, I mean honestly, because what Spurrier. that man did, oh. I, I was, I mean, I was a big Sperry fan a, of his he offense. Was good, he was a good college and, coach. And then um, Danny Wolfer, when he played, when he went to uh, Washington, I, I we thought had, maybe we had gonna all do. the Florida Gator quarterbacks. You sure we did. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> We had Warful. Who who was the other guy? Um, is that uh, um, Steve oh, Walsh. Man. I think he had Walsh. Was it Walsh? No, it wasn't Walsh. It wasn't Walsh. It was. Um, he was that, back oh in the. Oh my gosh. He was back in the crazy Warfel, too. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, college coaches coming out. That's why I. You know, everyone thinks of of Matt Rule out of Carolina as this guru, but there's two different factors when it comes in. You, you, <laughs> you're in the NFL, and these are grown men. They're not college yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you got a college kid who's 21, 22, these are grown men. They will make their own decisions yeah. on how they want to be treated. And they're they all, have every right. And they're all individual contractors, too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, Gabe, I hate to bring back the Giants, but Gabe brought up this good quote. I needed to put it up here. It's, dang, volume yeah. one. Yeah, yeah no. news. <laughs> uh, the thing that the Giants have shown tremendous interest in Howell Yes. What he's saying, I yeah, I, I read this uh, by sending him 
uh, their head of player personnel to his pro day, having him uh, for a house visit. According to reports, Giants do have interest in how in the second round, assuming he falls. Uh, Jones fifth year option is looking like they are not going to sign it as it is a huge risk. And you see what happens when people have picked up quarterbacks on fifth year's option. For example, uh, Sam Darnold. Well, I mean, those Sam are Darnold. Sam Darnold is Sam Darnold. I mean, that's, <laughs> All right, and I, look, I'm gonna look this. Okay, Gabe, this might be a hot take. Uh, Jones is better than Sam Darnold. <laughs> I, I, I'll say that. That is a very I'll, hot take. I'll, I'll say that with confidence. <laughs> that is a very quote very me hot on take. that. You know, I I don't. I just I don't believe. Now, look, I would not be surprised if okay. Let's say we do let Jones go and the Patriots pick him up. Yeah, and then we're gonna see what he can do. Then we're going to get the Patriots picking him up. See, now that's a hot take. Yeah. Because what, the Patriots picking him up? Well, him being released and that going that way because, I mean, Bill Belichick can work some wonders, but uh, the NFL is, I mean, it's just a tough industry. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. You get paid, though. You get paid. You do. But, but But you also sacrifice a lot. Yes, you do. To get paid. Yes, you do. Um, and, and and that that's the thing, you know, some of these, I mean, look at the whole uh, Baker Mayfield uh, little fiasco. <laughs> that, well, <laughs> you know, you, you've got wide receivers speaking out in Carolina saying no. You know, everyone's yeah. saying that's an yeah. option for him to go to Carolina, and the wide receivers yeah, well. are out there saying no. So receivers are starting to, to you know, whether they can court these guys or just – plain out say we don't want you well that is because of the player oh exactly they i mean yeah baker cocky Mm -hmm. um they they just don't want him there um and and speaking of uh players um you know wanting their quarterback what about this kyle kyle murray coming over here to dallas no, then it's not happening. That no, and it's not happening. So what they're saying about there's some there's some interest there. That's not true. No, no, that's all coming out of his camp. I'm okay. going to tell you what you you you, you want to go and talk smack about the Dallas Cowboys, and then your yeah, agent, then your agent well. knows damn well he screwed up, yeah. and his little his little tidbit to try and get more money, and then he's all wow the Cowboys want him now. Sorry, I have not heard one one person say we'll take Kyler Murray in exchange for Dak Prescott. And uh, the question was asked of me too: Do I want Kyler Murray? No, I don't. To, okay, guys, those of you that don't, I know you guys already know how I am, but those that don't know, I'm a real big on character. If you're gonna throw a tent tantrum. And I don't care if I don't care if Kyler sees this, right? And I don't I don't care. If you're gonna throw a tantrum tantrum, unfollow everybody on your uh, social media, whatever it is, because you want a wide receiver or you're trying to do something, you're trying to make a move or whatever the case may be. That's childish. Exactly. I'm sorry. That is just straight childish. Yep. yep. That's exactly now, it. Now, now here we are talking about Daniel Jones, talking about talking about his potential future, and what is he doing right now? He is working. He's yeah. rehabbing. He's reha- He's studying the game, watching film, seeing how he can improve. He's already said he know he has not played up to the expectation. He has taken accountability. And I'm sorry, that playoff game Kyler played. Now, yes, I am a Monday or Tuesday quarterback, whatever you want to call it. But that performance against the Rams. Especially in the end zone one. Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. yeah, that was horrible. You know, and, and, it's, and the only reason why I'm criticizing him is because of his actions, because of his character. Does he deserve it? No. You know, 
He's in the NFL. I'm not. He won the Heisman. I did it. He won the Big Ten. I don't know how many times. Yes, I have not. I have an NCAA, though. On the on the PlayStation, but that's you know, we'll talk about that later. Um, well, that's, the, that's the thing too is you know, it, you, you got to be trying to better yourself as a player. And I can tell you right now, I know Dak Prescott's in that room studying up after that, after that play against San Francisco, the last two quarters. He knows what he did wrong. The whole world knows what he did wrong. And, and and he's taking responsibility, and that's the first thing you know any player should do if they know they're responsible for the type of play that he did, because then fans can look at him just like I do and say, okay, you know he learned his lesson, because it hurts when you lose. Even even if oh, and, I, and I'm sure a playoff game hurts at even more oh, yeah. with that talent, with the talent that they had on that yeah, field, yeah. Yep. that game. To, I mean, just to be down. What were they? Down? They were down what seventeen nothing yep. until the third quarter. Yep. I mean, even if, even that itself was uh, was was just incredible to watch. Um, even if and to kind of echo what you were, I'm sorry, echo what you were saying, True Blue. Even if it wasn't the players' fault, they would still take accountability. Yeah, especially in because. That in in the in in the press conference, they'll say, uh, you know, your player, your you know, your teammate, um, True Blue, I'm gonna throw you under the bus. You know, True Blue fumbled the ball late in the fourth quarter. That was a critical turnover. What do you know, what are your thoughts on that? Of course I'm gonna sit here and say, Well, you know, we all gotta work together and I just gotta make better plays. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. That's yep. what players do that we help, you know, we, we support each other by taking accountability, even when it's not even necessary. So, um, yeah. So again, about Kyler, I don't even know how he's even going to go back to Arizona <laughs> and be like, oh, I'm just playing. I'm just, come on guys. You know, I didn't mean I'm following well, you they're, now. They're, they're saying he's going to sit out the season. So that says, that Jeez. says a lot. He's going to sit out the season. Yeah, if he doesn't get paid, that's what his – see, I, his agent has done more more harm than harm. Than, <laughs> than good. Yeah. And, and it, uh, that's the that's the, basically what it boils but, down but to. I mean, is it the agent's fault? I mean, that, that cannot all be the agent. Well, if, if, you're, if, if your client is not getting the justification that he needs, of course it's going to fall on your agent because your agent is your PR as well. Right, right. Well, I mean, I, and I, I agent wanna... is out there putting out what he, you know, whether he says it or not, but he's putting, you know, a statement out and saying this and that. So, I mean, it, it, it all, you know, just look I, at the statements alone. I, I look so, I, and I, I hear you. I hear you, True Blue. But last I checked, the agent works for me. Exactly. But not me because yeah. I don't make that much money in order to have an agent. But if I did. They work for me. They get a cut of my check. Yeah. So I can understand on the agent's part why he would. I mean, let's say he is, um, you know, suggesting things. Maybe. I mean, I think that'd be yeah. fair to save or say. So. Or Kyler is like, I'm not playing a damn down until, you know what I'm saying? I could see that as well. Yeah. And then the agent is just basically filtering what Kyler's saying. Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying he's part of your PR team, and, and, and whatever you're you're relaying to him, whether it's taken out of context, whether it's alleged, whether whatever it may be, once those tweets go out, once those you know statements go out, you can't pull that stuff back. Huh, nope. No, no, not at and, all. And, and and you can say, well, my phone was hacked. You can do you know whatever you want, but <laughs> Arizona fans are just sitting there. And, you know, before this incident, the fans were even, like, kind of 50-50 on it, yeah. too. Because, you know, I'm from Arizona. I hear what they're saying. I, I do. Uh, Gabe, I had to laugh at this. Man, Kyler's agent must not have passed the sports <laughs> management college class. So, okay, um, Gabe, uh, the re only I'm going to push back a little bit because, like I said, the agent works for Kyler, okay? Now, Kyler... You know, the agent has to do 
what his client wants to do or because all he all, all Kyle gotta say is yeah, you're fine. Yeah, That's yeah. it. And then what he's gonna do, he's gonna get another agent. Yeah. So yes, uh the, the agent kind of, you know, you know, he has to cradle him a little bit. Yeah. What he has to cradle, I'll let you <laughs> fill in the blanks there. But I mean, he, he has to do it because he's you know, he's gonna get a cut. He he's and for all we know, <laughs> I don't I don't know how many clients this agent has but let's just say he's in a jerry Maguire moment right <laughs> oh my god how ironic is that he's in this jerry Maguire moment and kyler's like show me the money show me the money i wonder what his agent's name is and if it's jerry i'm gonna laugh my ass off right now gabe if you can find out his name's jerry mcintyre it is not <laughs> i was like no <laughs> <laughs> uh... Gabe, if you can find out the guy's name, that, yeah, that and that's that's been you know the, the, these agents too. You know, I get the whole player being the boss, but you know sometimes these players are taking agents' advice, right? Well, because they're sitting there saying, "What do you think I should do?" And if he don't say the right thing, he could be showing the door. You know, yeah, what Eric, so his, his name is Eric. Burkhart. Damn it. I wanted to be Jerry. God, I wanted to be Jerry so bad. Yeah. He, he, I mean, or, or even like Maury Povich. Maybe like Kyler. <laughs> you are the fuck. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the amount of money, yeah, that these agents are getting too. 10%. Yeah. <laughs> of like millions. Yeah. That, like for me, I mean, I leave more than 10% on a tip. Actually, hold on. We're going to take a quick pause for a second. Do you guys tip 20% minimum on a tip? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So do I. I do. At least 20. Yeah. Well, for um, me, minimum is 15. I'll do the minimum 15, but I I, I mean, yeah, I go I go 20. So yeah, the, the 25 also, I get a massage. No, yeah, just, just, think, think, <laughs> just think about uh, that. $10 million. Sorry, Robert Kraft. $10 million, agent gets a million. Yeah. yeah. And now these guys are getting like 230 million yeah. for Cleveland, you know, going over there to Sean Watson, 230 million, Damn wrong. 23 million. So he also represents the head coach for Arizona Cardinals. Yeah. No, he don't. Are you serious? Yes, yeah. oh, that that is an awkward conversation. Yeah. yeah. Can you, well, can you see, see that coach now? He'd be like, really, Eric? Really? That's, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Here. That's why, that's why the fans are out there talking. Because they know that they can't, they can't have him. You know, those two in the same room with the same agent. So we got Diego, uh, Debo, AJ, uh, AJ, and uh, was it McLaren? Yeah, McLaren uh, holding out of camp because of wanted to. We got to get away from that. That's not business like. So McLaren is going to get extended as soon as June first comes because. We've got some contracts. We'll oh yeah, that's her guy, in it? Yeah, yeah. Will be in camp. Yeah, he'll be in camp. Yeah, Debo's not wanting to play play for San Fran. Well, Debo, he don't know. We don't know what position he is. Are yeah. we? Gonna, are they going to pay him wide receiver money? Uh, they sure as hell ain't going to pay him. Oh, well, I, I'm sorry. Is he going to be paid wow. running back money? Because they sure as hell ain't going to pay him as wide receiver money. You know. Yeah, well, the talk is it, it, San Francisco is already having that kid who's already being told that he's going to be a starter over Garoppolo. So, oh, uh, oh, Lance, Lance, yeah, yeah. There, there's going to be, you know, <clears throat> I and he's already come out and said that. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, and I'm surprised G is not going anywhere yet. Exactly. Yeah. What What yeah, is up with that? Coming. Well, he's a team player. He he's he's yeah, he not going to diva himself out like a lot of these other guys. Yeah, but you but you would think that 
because they're, they're they're paying him a pretty good penny too. Oh yeah, yeah, twenty. So you mean to tell me, I, shit? You mean to hey. tell me that he's gonna ride the bench? He he did it in New England. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, in New but he didn't get paid that much. He, he's no, not getting the money that he's getting now. In in you know, hey. well, that's exactly it. You know, that's why that's why one way or another they're they're gonna have to do something with Baker Mayfield because it's the same situation. Yeah, you got one guy who's already guaranteed well, two hundred thirty million, not another guy who's gonna get. So, you know, Baker is um, he, he's in a, a, a conundrum himself, if you will. Uh, for one, uh, people don't want him. Right. I'm just throwing that out there because I know we were talking about the one team in Carolina. They didn't they didn't want him. And two, Deshaun uh, could be facing a six game suspension. Yeah. Yep. So that's the I mean, that's why I can understand why Cleveland is like, nah, bro, you with us for a little bit. Yeah. And, he, and, and in weeks. Yeah. And in turn, he used to say, I'm not going to play, which yeah. is basically what he's been saying already. Oh, Baker said, I'm not going to yeah. play. Yeah. See, OK, look, guys, when when players do that. Yeah. It does okay. not shine a good light on them. No, well, it it, that, again, it's not about that shine. They 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 don't care anymore. No. When, when it's not about what you do. <laughs> it's not about what you know they've done. It's what can I do for you lately? Yeah. And lately they don't want to play. Now, now time out. Now let, let me let me let me back up a little bit. Teams don't teams don't care either. You know, let, let's be fair. Um, I want to harp. I want to harp loyalty, right? I want the player to show loyalty, but but we all know damn well the team that they don't. It's not reciprocated. I mean, you know, if if Montana could be traded, yeah, exactly. If if Favre could be traded, so uh, teams show as much loyalty as. Uh, as a car salesman. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's very. That's free minimal. agency for you. Free yeah. agency is yeah. ruining that. Well, well even the, I'm, I'm just saying teams in general, because, you know, they can trade you. Yeah. They can. Uh, I mean, you, you got to read. You got to reach a certain status in your career to get that no trade clause. Oh, yeah. And until you get that no trade clause in your contract, you you are at the will and pleasure of that NFL team. So I think for me, for me being an old head of the NFL, like I am, I'm talking like the three division AFC, yeah. NFC with three wild card teams, yeah. old head. Um, even though the teams lack loyalty, it's all about being the better person. And for me, if the players could be that, that that's kind of where I'm coming from, but at the same time, now that I'm I'm talking this out, I could understand why players are being the way they. Are. But you gotta at least show up. You cannot not be on the field. Yeah, because they, not only are you hurting the team, you're hurting the fans that paid the money to come see you play, even though you don't want to be there. Yeah, and see that's the thing too. They got to realize is that the executive executive decisions were made by the team themselves. Just yeah. like the like the Cleveland Browns, so I can see why Baker is saying, you know what, you guys made your bed lying it. And I don't think Baker and that head coach gets along. I don't. I don't, I don't think they do. No. But I, don't, I mean, I, from I, what from, I mean, I can tell you right now that that ha, ha, more than half the Cleveland fans were upset that they got Deshaun Watson from the get go because of the whole situation that led up to that. Did you see his uh, his leak videos? Of his disposition? No. I only saw clips of it. Um, I need I need to watch the whole thing just to get a better um, analysis so I can make a better opinion. And I think it would behoove. Remember, we got to keep that, <laughs> that guy word in the show. It would behoove us to, um, uh, you know, watch it and educate. You know, uh, and it may, this would be something perfect. Maybe not talk about during the, yeah the draft, um, but a future show down the line because, um, again, he he was you know it's not criminally founded. You know, there's no criminal. Uh, the criminal charges were dropped, so now it's the civil. Um, and I don't want to talk about this too much. 
but I want to just kind of graze over it and then we'll move on. Um, I want to, I want to, the beginning of this whole situation, from what I understand it to be, the attorney reached out to Deshaun and was like, hey, we want money. This is the amount. We won't take it to court. And he was like, I'll see you in court. So I guarantee you, if he signs or if he settles, there is going to be a no at fault clause and of course, the non-disclosure, I mean, that's a given um, in that settlement. That, that's kind of how I envision that whole uh, thing going. No comment? I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I, if, for, uh, regardless of the allegations, regardless of everything else, he missed a whole year. Yeah. Due to his, you know, what he was doing off field issues. Yeah. And, and whether you, you know, you, you're all off the field antics catch with, up with you on the field, which it has. Cause he lost a whole year. Now he's looking at a six minimum six game suspension. Uh-huh. It doesn't, I mean, it is what it is. You know, what's, what's really, um, unfortunate against this whole thing. Diego says, in my opinion, no one wants Baker. I mean, that's, I could, I could see that. I mean, you guys, would you guys agree to that as well? No, I don't want him. <laughs> right. No, some, somebody wants him. It's just, it's the right time. We're waiting. So the, let, let's think about this. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Baker had a, what, 30, I'm sorry, 29, 30 record, uh, broke their uh, losing streak in the NFL. Got Broke their, got, you know, uh, playoff, uh, not only got onto the playoffs, but they won a playoff game. Yep. Um, I guess this is what we're talking about earlier, about loyalty. That yeah, teams have. that's why I'm saying the fans of Cleveland are, you know, upset that he's he's gone or he's going to be gone. So I it, think it, 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 it's all a cutthroat situation and all across this league. All across this league. Yeah. And and it's the fact that the coach there in Cleveland inherited Baker. Yeah. Hugh Jackson. And matter of fact, words coming out that they didn't even, Hugh Jackson didn't even want him. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you guys heard that. I mean, and I hope if I'm mistaken, somebody please correct me. Nah. But from what I read, there was some discontent with him and Hugh. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt so. that. Well, it was a whole yeah, there was some uh, the hard knocks episodes led into that. Yeah. You can see it right there, plain sight. Yeah, and then when yeah. Hugh was fired and got picked up by Cincinnati, I believe it was. It was, yeah. They had the uh, little side, the sideline uh, issue. Yeah, he didn't walk up to him. Yeah, Hugh yeah. reached out for a handshake and Baker yeah, didn't walk. Yeah. It is what it is. Too much drama. <laughs> uh, Gabe said, I don't know why the Browns didn't just ship Baker to the Texans. He doesn't want to play in Texas. Yeah. Cause, and, which don't make no damn sense because how somewhere. many Oklahoma fans are here? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean. And, I, and that, all, that could be, you know, that could be something down the line, you know, during the draft. That's what's going to be interesting. You know, that could be a trade deal. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And, that, and again, uh, that might be a situation where Barkley. Might might go somewhere too. Uh, Diego said former GM Dorsey uh, wanted him. And where's Dorsey right now? Yeah, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Colin Colin takes on the NFL Network. Yeah, uh, fans are more upset that he has uh, the charges and allegations than getting a new quarterback. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a tough yeah. pill to swallow up there, Cleveland in Cleveland. I mean, I, I know you guys read what 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 Amari Cooper wrote, right? No, what no. about Deshaun? About about those quarterbacks? Oh, what Baker? I, I, yeah, please it was on go Bleacher. on. It was on Bleacher Report. Hmm. But he was he was he send know, me the link. I'll read it. I'll read he, it. Out he, to... he was reading both. Uh, he was reading both tweet or <laughs> he was reading off on both quarterbacks. But what he was talking about, I mean, this, I don't know. 
from Bleacher Report, I mean, you got to see it. It, it. I started laughing. And, and he, he brought up his school in Alabama and everything else. So it goes around leadership and some other good stuff. So you'll, you'll laugh when you read it. <laughs> you'll laugh when you read it. Well, okay, well, let me look. Okay, hey, let's just let me just cut to the chase here. Does Amari Cooper like Baker Mayfield? I think he'd rather play with Baker Mayfield than he he would Deshaun Watson. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Good. I, that, yeah. That's a that's a yes. I like him. Yeah. But I, and that's just my take. That's just my hot take. I, no, I you know I, you know you talked to Amari the other day. You know that's what he told you. <laughs> Come on now. I'm sorry, Pork Ron. I cut you off. Go ahead. What you got? I I wasn't saying anything. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying something. No, no. So so. With this draft coming up in ten days, the 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 teams, I believe, I, I I don't know how many visits you guys have gotten up to. We've got, I think, we've received all thirty of our visits. Uh, there was only one right wide receiver that came into into your camp, wasn't it? In ours, Washington? yeah, uh, we've got a few. You got London from USC. Um, uh, Williams, is it Williamson from Alabama? Yeah. Or is it, yeah. And then, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Garrett, is it Garrett Wilson from Ohio State? I think there was three or four wide receivers. And what about you, Sneaky? How many receivers you had visit? Um, I don't, the only thing that really stands out to me was the, uh, uh, the how visit. And how the, long uh, of a visit was that? Visit how, um, well, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was a couple of days. Oh, okay. So, I mean, that's the only one that really um, sticks out. Yeah, and, and the one big thing, uh, the off-season workouts did begin today. Yep. So, to oh, see hey, who, who's guys, in the locker room and who's not. Yeah, our, our guys have been in there for a minute. For real. Let me see if I can pull up something that um, that they've been talking about. But that was the only thing that I that uh, stands out. Um, hold on, Gabe. The Gabe has something. To yeah, say. And, and I don't know if y'all. I, I know you living up there in, in the DFW area. Did hear the news this weekend. About one of our cornerbacks, the whole thing oh, yeah, crazy. yeah, it's um, crazy. It's just a sad story all the way around. Second rounder, too. Yeah, it's it's a it, it 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 some of these guys need to look at their environments and who they hang around with. Yep, it, it, it's not good, and, and it's just a sad story all the way around, and you know. It's a hard pill to swallow as a fan that you would have somebody that that put themselves in that situation. Because I know, I know, you know, whether he's second round, third round, fourth round, regardless, even first, even if it was, I mean, you know, the situation with uh, DeAndre Baker uh, a couple years back. Yeah, you don't, you as fans, we don't like to see that sort of stuff because it's just, it's very off putting. I mean, the, the families that have been impacted. Yep. And for you to not speak, you know, it, it really doesn't make any sense. And I don't know, man. It's just been eating at me for the past week after, first of all, looking at the video. Second of all, knowing who it was. Third of all, a month goes by and you did not say one word. A month. That's 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 unforgivable right there for... I mean, everything can be forgiven, but something like that is just pretty hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, look, a, a, a life was lost. Yes, a so, kid. I mean, a kid. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it, it, it's very upsetting that somebody would put themselves in that environment as a player, as, as anything else, because you don't ever want to be in those types of situations. It's just bad. I, I was in the office when someone actually read the report. Not, not the. I mean, basically the headliner. Yeah. Um, and when they read it, I shook my head. And um, of course, the next thing they said was, "Okay, besides being a Cowboys fan, you know, what do you, you know, 
they wanted my two cents about it. And um, I started thinking of the lead singer, the two live crew. Oh, God. What's his name? I don't I know, know who you're talking about. I know you guys know I'm talking about. Yep. Uh, so, no, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> um, so I remember he would say something like, if you, if, it, if you can't change your friends, it's time to change your friends. Uh, and that's that's this case. The, the problem is. is when when we when people le- leave their environment um, and they become successful, they become whatever, you, they, you know, you, you get called and you don't come back to your community. You don't come back home. You know, you call the sellout. You call this and that. And, you know, sometimes if 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 people that are around you aren't doing anything. And if they're calling you a sellout, all right, man. If that's what you, if that, that makes you feel oh, well, good. <laughs> oh well, yeah. yeah. If, if that makes you out. feel better, because, <laughs> um, look, if, if like I said, if you want to stay in that, I, okay, in my mind, look, look, growing up, growing up for me, and I'm only going to talk about me and myself. Growing up, I thought to myself, I said, if you're a thug. And you're you're still, uh, you know, not only if, like, if you're if you're a person that's, you know, oh, it's going to sound so bad. <laughs> if if you're not doing anything to better yourself, okay, and you're still living at home, you, you don't need you don't have the right to call anybody anything. Nope. And there's one person that I'm thinking of right now. I don't know if he watches the show, but if he does, you know who you are if if you're still living at home and you, you know you're not you, you're not putting that effort um and for the person that thinks i'm talking about them no it's not you it's the other person <laughs> um but you know you have no right to call anybody anything and sometimes you have to let people go yeah and i mean I hate, I hate to say it. I've I've let people go because you you want to you want to especially those negative Nancys, you know. Yeah. But now it's a case where not only is he going to miss out on a promising NFL career, he might be in you you know face some jail time. Yeah. You know. Now again, yeah. this is all allegedly alleged. Yep. Right? Alleged. But it just, it, yeah, like I said, it's a sad story for the families involved, and it's a sad story just in general. And it's just it, it, it that that type of stuff always tugs at me because of the environment I grew up in, mm-hmm. and it's just it's hard to see that man. You just got to sometimes, like you're saying, walk away. Yeah. You'd be a lot better person for it. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. I I did not grow up in the hood. I'm gonna tell you that right now, but I did grow up in the South Streets of Sierra Vista, Arizona. <laughs> South Side, <laughs> but recognize. Yeah, everybody uh, that's uh, back home watching this, they're like, uh, "Please." <laughs> you ain't from no South Side. Well, actually, I was like Southeast <laughs> Side, Southwest. You know, it depends Southwest. on where you the map. Yeah, Southwest. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm going back to some happy points of this draft. I, I, I'm. I, I'm really interested to see, of course, how quick that number one card is going to be taken off the board. You know, are they going to let it run the ten minutes? Yeah, and call it out. And, and I think an interesting bet too. Does anybody miss their their? See West Side. See. What side? Does anybody, does anybody miss their pick like the Minnesota Vikings have? <laughs> I, I, st- I remember. I'm like, wait, did they pick? I remember that. God, I remember that. Man. T- twice. Twice. I have two go in the house, baby. That's bad. They did it twice? I only remember twice. the one time. Twice. That is bad. Twice, <laughs> dude. God. You got you to watch the NFL film on that, dude. It, it, it's And the Minnesota Vikings were up. <laughs> 
And Mike Tyson, he went over there to go pick up the phone, and time was expired. <laughs> That's Jesus. you know. I was thinking today. I was I was thinking today. You know, they have all these call logs, and, and me being in communications, I was just like, I wonder if the NFL monitors all the phone calls that come in to you know from from the team to the to the facilities. To 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 the draft. To the draft. I think yeah. they have to. Yeah, they would have to. Oh, oh that yeah. See that I, I started questioning and I started looking at some things and it just starts eating at my head a little bit more because one, why are they listening in on a private call? Oh, I I'm sorry. I don't okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You know, the the teams are calling into the draft so they can sign their car to get it in. Is the NFL listening in on those calls? Well, aren't they calling the? Oh no, no. So the the oh, front office is calling, calling the team. The, they're calling the team, right? Oh, okay. That's what you're saying. Yeah. So, so when they're calling for that card, so, so that that's their their side. representative is filling out that card. They know exactly who they're talking to, when they're talking to. Do other teams know, or does the NFL know who who's going to be picked? Well, yeah, I don't think they know until they get the name. Unless but I am, I am curious though. Like, <laughs> is there any like side talk? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh hell yeah! Uh, oh yeah! Like, what a bitch! <laughs> you know what I'm hey, you why'd, got you, why'd you take so long to pick up the phone? You know, effort. You know. Yeah, there's 32 teams sitting there. You got to imagine. Well, I, I remember in Nashville they put them to the side. They like in you know before they were out in the open and it was hard to hear, but now they've got them off to the side in the back. So it's it's pretty interesting how that that. If you, if, you, if you fans out there haven't seen any of these phone calls made between teams and, and players, for you got to go watch the good stuff from the 80s and 90s. Those drafts were so much fun, just listening in on the owners and listening in on the on the coaches on who they want. I mean, uh, I, we're still going to have a war room this year for the Cowboys, so you, you get a little bit inside of what's going on behind the scenes. So we got Gabe saying the Giants have had most – of the top running backs in their visits, uh, we have already. Let's see, we have had non wide receivers, we have had a bunch of tight ends visit. How visit? Oh, it was for two days with dinner and workout and tour the facility. So, you're definitely trading Saquon Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I mean, I mean, that could be an option to trade up. You know, use Barkley. They're not going to give a number one for Barkley. What am I? Oh talking no! About? What am I talking about? I have no idea. I, I don't. I don't know football. You I never know. You might. You might trade. You might get a second or third or something. Well, that yeah, he would have to fall in the second round. Yeah. Um, especially if we're going to go. Um, I hope. Ah, God, I don't want to go corner. So I, we need an edge rusher. We need an. We need someone to compliment uh, Williams, Leonard Williams. Uh, and 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 the other thing too, the free agency market. There's still a lot of guys out there. There's a lot of people out there still. Yeah, there's a still a top 100 people. list out there, and I know there's there after this draft, a lot of those guys will be getting picked up as yep. well. Yep. And you know who's going to be the victim of that? The the free agent rookies that aren't yep. getting picked up. <clears throat> yep. I mean, you get the, and even if they did get picked up, it's like the, it's, the odds of them making the team is even less. Unless you're a highly, you know, lineman, some something that needs some depth. Well, Scott, right. right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because you got to remember the the practice team has has a little bit more now with all these protocols that have been put in place since right last right. year. So it, it is it it five extra players is a lot. Oh hell no! Honey Badger did not come to Dallas. Honey Badger did not come to Dallas. Yeah, I hope not. I hope so. He, he's not. <laughs> That's a lot of money. He he's, a, he's, a yes, he he's a hell of a player. He's a hell of a player. He is. I see. I uh, heard. I heard Saints, but uh, he's too much over there as well. Yeah. That's yeah. quite a bit of change that this man wants, and I don't blame him. He's well worth it. And yeah, Gabe is right. This hour did go by fast. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um. Well, I guess. Uh, thanks, Gabe. I guess we'll end on that. Um. Our next one will be the last be, one for uh, yeah. the draft. So if I'm not mistaken, um, we're probably the next show will be 
uh, in in Vegas. We might do it when the Wednesday night. Yep. Um, more work. Uh, er, will everybody be there on Wednesday? Yep. Uh, Philly is Philly's on the 2014 a- classified mission. Yeah. Because um, you know he's a trained assassin of the <laughs> NFC E show. Just, just saying. Um, Park Ryan, when you get in there, I'll be there Wednesday. Okay, I'll be there Wednesday too. I'll be there Wednesday evening. I think I, I think I land on at like seven. I get in at noon. Yeah, Nick gotta you gotta go to school and then we'll be boarding the flight. Just and I'm gonna get them have me like four bloody marys. Uh, just take go. off early. Yeah. <laughs> well, well I am, early. but he he got it. He has to go to school, so. All right, folks. But, uh, yeah, and yep, we're 29 minutes over, and they are not paying us overtime. So nope. uh, <laughs> until next time, <laughs> let's go Giants. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> Take command. Or hell to the commanders. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. There, there's a 